Hello everyone, I'm Shannon Slatton in New Hope. Here's a look at a few of the stories making the news today. And remember, if you want more, you can check out our website, ccxmedia.org. The Crystal Airport has several construction projects underway, including extending its primary runway. The airport manager says the purpose is to enhance safety. Nearly 40,000 aircraft glide across these runways every year. But four runways going two directions and crossing paths can get a little confusing. We've had issues in the past where people have landed on the wrong runway. Airport manager Mike Wilson says to reduce confusion, the airport now only utilizes three runways. One is the primary runway, which has been extended nearly 500 feet. If they go to take off and they have an engine failure, they have 3,700 feet of usable runway to stop and land the aircraft. The runway parallel to the primary runway will now serve as a taxiway. In addition, the airport will have new lighting and electrical work. We did not have any lighted signs here, which is something that's pretty odd for an airport. They had reflective signs and now we've gone to lighted signs. So at night pilots click up the lights and all the signs will be lit so they can see where they're going. To reduce the number of runway crossings, Wilson says the turf runway will also be shortened. The project costs about $3.7 million, which is funded by a grant through the FAA. We put significant investment into the airport and we're, we're hoping that that shows people that we're not interested in closing this airport. It is a very important asset for us within our system. Most of the project will be completed later this week. In Crystal, Pafuyang, CCX News. Winter may have arrived a little early this year, but it's never too cold for ice cream. At least that's what the owners of a new store in Osseo are hoping. One, two, three, get it, get it! Yay! Friday afternoon, Osseo celebrated the grand opening of Two Scoops, a new ice cream shop along Central Avenue. It's a family-owned business with another location in Anoka that opened 10 years ago. Two Scoops serves more than 100 flavors, courtesy of Wisconsin-based chocolate shop ice cream that rotate in and out depending on the season. They initially had plans to open the store this past spring, but COVID-19 forced them to delay those plans. Now they're just happy to call Osseo home. Well, it was the Main Street area. Um, it had that small town feel to it. It, um, everybody, when we initially started looking here, everyone that we met from Osseo was so friendly, so nice, so kind. Meanwhile, Osseo City officials say they're happy to have an ice cream shop along their main corridor. When the uh, Osseo meat market was on Main Street, they had ice cream, and when they moved, the ice cream left, and people have been wanting ice cream ever since. So this is a huge, huge win for the town. For now, Two Scoops will only be open Friday through Sunday, but come March, the plan is for the store to be open every day of the week. Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Ahoy mateys, I'm Penny the Pirate. Do With the know? right attire and performance. Pirate Pete! Even a pirate would be convinced Nicole Fenstad is one of them. To Rascal Island we go! But so would princesses, superheroes, and animals. This is the costume room. Fenstad owns a children's entertainment company called Princess Party Pals. I mean, I started out as an actress. I moved to New York and lived in New York for almost 10 years. Every week, the actress creates a magical atmosphere for kids and families. We do a fun story time with the kids, so if it's one of the princesses, she'll tell her story, sing some songs. But the global pandemic put a hold on several in-person events. Now, the entertainer hosts shows right here, inside her very own home. Oh, yeah, this is the studio that I created. It was a blank space before. The actress began offering virtual events and will host one for Halloween as Wanda the Witch. So I would start a Zoom call like this so everyone would be on the stage. But not everything will be online for Halloween. Crosswinds Church in Maple Grove will still put on its seventh annual trunk or treat Halloween event. Yeah, it's just basically the trunks decorated and then the kids usually walk trunk to trunk and can get treats from there. So this year it'll just be driving through. Associate Pastor Rachel Devereaux says decorated car trunks will park on the lot where kids can get treats. 
But the event also focuses on helping those in need by handing out vouchers for food. It's, it's an outreach um, for us to be able to hear if our community has any needs since we're not able to meet together, uh, a space for them to be able to come to and and be safe. And from treats to magical fairy tales, it's clear now that Halloween can be a little less spooky and a little more about giving. I think everyone has so much fatigue right now with what's going on. I think more than ever, we need that little bit of magic. In Plymouth, Pafuyang, CCX News.